I uh, just wanted to welcome uh, General Morales to this, and I, I want to um, commend the general's leadership and recognize the service members of Air Mobility Command for conducting uh, the historic uh, largest non-combatant rescue evacuation airlift in U.S. history. Um, I am so proud of Transcom's monumental efforts in August, as well as the continued work of service members across the United States military in providing ongoing airlift support of our Afghan allies, including volunteers from the 182nd Airlift Wing in Peoria, Illinois. I think we're all witnessing real-time example of why it's so important that we plan for and resource our logistics and sustainment capabilities as much as we plan for and resource our combat capabilities. Our logistics enterprise is absolutely vital for responding to emergencies while preparing for future conflicts. General Van Ovost, welcome. Um, based on the finding from your most recent, uh, from the most recent mobility capability requirement study, if you are confirmed, how will you ensure Transcom is balancing steady state requirements, emergency response missions, and preparation for future operations in a contested environment? Uh, Senator, uh, thank you for the earlier discussion and thank you for your support uh, of logistics around the world. We are uh, simply a, a, a strategic a capability, really unmatched by any other nation, to be able to project and sustain our force around the world. Uh, and it's very helpful uh, that you bring forward the thoughts about how the critical role that logistics plays, uh, not simply within an O plan, but frankly, from a deterrent value. Our logistics formations. Uh, can absolutely deter when we have these deep um, uh, uh, relationships with our allies and partners and we, we become more interoperable with them and we, and we use their logistics chains as well. It's very, very powerful when our enemies see that. And speaking to the mobility capability requirement study and, and the need to project decisive force along a long contested uh, line of communication, uh, if confirmed, I will uh, not only assess uh, these results with uh, the services, uh, but I will work with the combatant commanders on their operational plans uh, to ensure that we can provide them multiple options uh, to meet their needs, both for an immediate force tonight and a decisive force when needed. Thank, Thank you, General. General. And following up on that, as the services are looking to divest from older platforms, uh, like the C-130, for example, what future capabilities are required to meet future challenges, um, especially in the Indo-Pacific region as far as Transcom is concerned? Senator, as we look to the joint warfighting concept and the embedded concepts, in, in particular the joint concept for contested logistics, we recognize that we have gaps in our capabilities uh, in strategic competition. So I think about uh, ensuring that we participate uh, from a logistics standpoint in the joint war fighting in the games, in the exercises and tabletop to tease out those insights uh, where we can then increase the credibility uh, of logistics around the world. And, and so not only from uh, there, the war fighting concepts from the different services, but we indeed need to think about doing new things with respect to the logistics. I think about have, having uh, and utilizing data to make better logistics decisions more effective to use our critical resources better, uh, especially in a very dynamic uh, situation, and then ensuring that we can actually execute those orders with a secure and resilient command and control. Well, as, as, as you're doing that, um, do you think Transcom is adequately represented in the formulation of the upcoming NDS? Senator, I understand U.S. Transportation Command has provided advice for the uh, for the new national defense strategy, which is in formulation uh, inside the department. Uh, and uh, if confirmed, I will continue to provide that advice uh, to the Secretary of Defense concerning logistics and, again, how logistics formations can increase deterrence and how logistics needs to be integrated with all the joint war fighting functions to be most effective for the warfighter. I couldn't agree with you more. I, I've been unwavering in my insistence that we cannot build a combat credible deterrence if we do not have the logistics capability and capacity to realistically support the complex military operational plans that we are likely to be executing. Uh, you touch on training a little bit. Can you can you touch a little? Can you expand a little bit more on any training exercises or strategic planning that Transcom must participate in over the next few years to get a clear picture? of the state of our strategic capabilities, like the Ready Reserve Force, 
um, as well as to ensure that our operational plans adequately factor in logistics and sustainment concerns? Yes, Senator, you're probably aware of the several capstone exercises uh, by Indo-PACOM and UCOM, uh, Defender Series, and, and, and various um, service games that we want to ensure that we are a part of so that we can, again, tease those insights out for how we're going to operate better together into the future and how we'll increase our interoperability, not just with the services, but with our allies and partners who can be of great benefit to us uh, to ensure that we can capitalize on their capabilities. Thank you, General. I'm over time, Mr. Chairman.